Hello everyone, welcome to Paper Craft Mix. It's me, Brigitta. And in the video for today, I'm going to show you how I am trying out these inks that you uh, that you see in front of you right now. And I am going to have a tutorial with them to test out the inks and to make beautiful cards uh, with them. They will be the examples for the workshop I'm going to host this upcoming Friday for a group of my girlfriends. Uh, just two of them are crafty girls and the rest is not. And uh, they really wanted to play with me, uh, yeah, with cards, with inks, with stamping, etc. So uh, they asked for it uh, quite some time ago. And now I am uh, hosting the workshop this Friday. The inks that you see in front that I am uh, pointing at right now are inks that I bought at our action stores. And they are from Deco Time Crafts. The other one above is from Avec. The tints, the four tints with the beautiful colors are water based inks. So they react with water just like the ice inks that I used and the distress inks from Ranger. These are really cheap so I want to try them out especially for uh, the workshop because they are all beginners. And you can blend them with uh, the blenders that I'm showing you right now. Th um, this one was gifted to me from Avec. And uh, the normal ones I always use are the ones from Vasa or from Ranger themselves. I love the dome shapes that are my favorites. I love them more than the flat ones that I uh, used in the past. There in the tins there are a lot of colors as you can see in the same color range. And these inks are really cheap. You paid I believe 2 euro 58 or 98 per tin and you have uh, 12 inks inside of them. Small ink pads of course, the same size as the mini distress ink or the mini eyes inks that I have. I want to try them out to see if I can make beautiful backgrounds with them for my cards. And especially because at the workshop I don't want to let them try with my expensive um, inks that I have. I don't have a lot of colors uh, also from those. And I really love that you get such an amount of uh, shades of the same color in these ink pads. They come in beautiful metal tints that are just like the Ranger tints. So only for the tints, they are really worth the price, uh, I thought. Well, here you can see that I am preparing my paper. And this is an A4 size, but I think I cut it down uh, later on because this I cannot blend off my page how I'm laying it out here. So. The, yes, you see, I remember it. I did make this video a few weeks ago, so I am going to uh, yeah, have to think about some things uh, that I did. Well, the paper that I used is copy paper from a brand that was recommended uh, to me by um, one of my um, design team members from Carline Design. And it's copy paper, but it's really heavy one. I think it's about 300 GSM, I think. And it's really smooth, so it really works good with uh, ink blending as well as with the foiling, with the foiling machine, with my glimmer. So yeah, I'm starting of course with my favorite colors and I chose the three lightest colors from the ink pads, from the ink sets with the purples and the reds, and the, or the pinks and the reds I must say. And I'm going to start to ink blend. But as you can see, if I uh, use the lightest color, it doesn't give a lot of ink on my blending foam. And as, yeah, logically, it doesn't give a lot of ink on the paper as well. And I must say, this was the first time I'm trying out the dome shaped uh, blending foams from AVEC. And I really don't like them. They are a little bit harder than the normal ones I use from Vase and from Studio Light. And, um, yeah, they make a sound because they are a little bit harder. You really hear it when you use it on the paper and they really scratch my ears. I really don't like them. So I don't think I'm going to use them much. I really prefer the other ones I normally use. And I do think later on in the video or right now, I uh, took another one out of the package that I had from Vase. So yeah. And the lightest inks don't give a lot of ink, as you can see. So I really needed a firm hand to apply the lightest colors on the paper. And later on, I'm also making a page with the green and the yellow. But I am uh, doing that fast. Uh, um, yeah, I am. I have fast forwarded that uh, part of the video. 
as well as other parts because otherwise this video will be too long and it's already about uh, 30 minutes I believe so yeah here I get the other colors and you do see that they start coming off and that they are really beautiful colors and later on you will see that they really blend of course they don't blend as smooth as the more pricier inks that I have but uh, for the price is the quality is really good and they do what they need to do again you need a little bit of a firmer hand a stronger hand to apply them and to let them uh, blend together but yes especially when you are a beginner card maker this is perfect and you don't need to buy the expensive inks uh, when you just start out and want to try it out if it's really something for you the card making or the ink blending so yeah i was really happy with those and i do think i am going to use them myself a lot as well because i have so much of the same uh, so much shades of the same color it's really nice i don't have all the pinks or all the reds from ranger or from Ising. so yeah that's what i mean i think i will use them uh, a lot because of that so yeah but they don't i don't think they will go uh, so long that i will can have them and use them so long as i have my other inks because they really stay well for a long time i some of them i have years and years and then i have never ever needed to fill them up or uh, throw them away because they were empty so yeah look with the darker colors it's it goes a little bit smoother as you can see and yeah this ink blending does take a lot of time i didn't fast forward this so i am taking the time right now to uh, ask you something for my channel if you follow me a long time you know that i did uh, some different projects here that's why my channel is called paper craft mix I have uh, 3D projects, I do art journaling sometimes, I have made junk journals, I make cards, I make a little bit of everything and I really love to do that. I love making embellishments for example. But lately, and you've already noticed that of course, I uh, am in the design team of Caroline Design and that gives that uh, yeah, takes a lot of more time than I uh, thought of before and I love it. I really love it. You don't hear me complain about it. I really love working with the beautiful, beautiful projects. The design team is really sweet, all sweet girls and we have a lot of contact together and I really like it and Caroline is really generous and a sweet, sweet lady that works really hard for her Dutch brand and yeah, I love working for her and with the other girls. But that uh, gives me uh, less time to do different kind of projects. So you have seen a lot of cards from me lately. Cards or small projects that I can do for Caroline Design. And you don't see a lot of 3D projects anymore. I know, I am aware of that. And uh, yeah, it is, uh, takes some adjusting for me as well. Because I wish I had more time in my day uh, to do all of it. But yeah, you know that doesn't uh, go. I have also work to do. And I have work at my home and I have my children, of course. And although they are all big and they are all work, you still have to do the laundry and the, the cooking, etc. They help me, but uh, yeah, they work more as I do. So. so yeah, so I'm really curious what you think about that. What's your opinion about that? And if you miss something, um, what do you miss on my channel lately? What do you want me to do or to change? Of course, I still need to do my projects for Caroline Design, but maybe you have some some uh, some things that you want me to do with card making so that I can do for Caroline Design. Maybe you have some requests or some tips or you want to see a certain style of card, uh, etc. Please tell me so I can incorporate that in my design team work. But I really want to hear from you as well what you would like to see more on my channel. Do you like to see more 3D projects, journaling, mixed media work? I, I'm really curious about that. You know I love to do it all. And uh, yeah, I like playing with inks like I do here. But I all, also really like to play with uh, die cuts and with my jelly plates and stamping. But uh, yeah, I just love everything. That's my problem. That's why I always have not enough time. But I'm really curious what you think or what you want to see here on my channel as well from other things than cards making and what you would like me to do in my card making so yeah i'm really curious uh, what's your opinion so yeah now i'm already uh, working with the purples as you can see love the purple colors the tones together with the pinks i just love it 
lately I am uh, really digging the purple. I didn't use it a lot in the past, but lately I use it more. You probably have seen that on the different cards that I did. Really beautiful and with the pink shades from this tin, it's gorgeous. But of course these shades are meant to be together. Eh? That's why they put it in one tin. So I love this. I'm almost done, I see. And then I think I will go and try out the splatters with water. Because these are water reactive inks. So the ink would, uh, has to uh, pull away when we put water on it. Just like with the distress inks and with my eyes inks. And you will see that that does work. A little bit less than the, the more expensive inks but it does work with water so i am going to show that to the girls this friday i think this will be really nice cards uh, to start with not too difficult with this ink blending techniques and with the water splattering and simple stamping you will see later on what i do more i made two examples for them that they can choose off so the backgrounds will be the same but one card is only with stamping and some uh, yes yeah, some uh, extra things with markers and the other one will be with uh, simple die cutting so they can choose what they like but they will all have to play first with uh, the inks and the water to make a uh, beautiful background and the stamps the background stamps that i am going to use later on as well so yeah this really takes long why i was uh, talking in Dutch while I was doing this I told a lot of more of the details of course that was especially for the, the, the Dutch girls so that took me some more time to talk about but you cannot uh, the things that I told there you cannot use because you are not here in the Netherlands so I talked about products that I use with this etc so that's why it took a little bit longer while I'm doing this voice over so yeah now I do think I am Coming in with my water, yeah, I see my kitchen towel, so I am going to spray the water on top. Look, there it is, a lot of water. And now I'm going to roll over with my paper towel. Well, I don't need to tell you, it's uh, really simple. And yeah, you can already see it on camera, and I am tilting it so you can see it a little bit better. It does react, as you can see, with the water. It's really fine splattering that I did. It doesn't make big splatters, but you see that it uh, pulls away the ink in the background. I love, love, love this technique. Beautiful. And I must say the paper I used, the copy paper, this was the first time that I used it with the water and it doesn't react to the water really well. So you cannot wet it a lot. Uh, it has to keep do a little bit of splattering with water because the paper will get damaged. So for ink blending and foiling it's perfect, but for playing with water you really need to use the watercolor paper or the mixed media paper I think. Or everything that uh, Ranger brings out for the inks uh, that is uh, with the Tim Holtz brand. So yeah, and now I'm going to do it with uh, different kind of thin with the yellows and the oranges and the dark grays and the black this i did fast forward as you can see wow how can i ink blend so fast <laughs> and yeah the yellow does do it a lot better as you can see as the the light pink did it has a lot of more pigment in the inks and a warmer tone of yellow yeah i really like the yellows I was so happy, it was a really dark and gloomy day here when I did this tutorial. I filmed this at uh, in the day, so and I still needed my uh, extra lights, because otherwise I wouldn't see a lot. So this bright colors that I used here on these both uh, on these cards, on both of these cards, I really loved and made me so happy. I can't wait for spring to start and for summer. I really, really love that. Now I'm using the green tones together with the yellow, it's so beautiful together, citrus colors, gives an instant summer feeling. <laughs> and I don't know uh, how it's with you, but I really don't like winter and uh, fall. The only thing I, uh, I like about winter is that we burn our uh, wood stove, no, how do you call it? 
uh, yeah, that we burn the wood in the house every night. And it gives such a nice warmth and uh, it's really cozy. And that's what I like when we uh, are looking at our television, etc. I love that. But for the rest, it gives me sun and gives me summer or spring. Spring is good as well. I don't like the cold. I don't like the rain because here in the Netherlands we don't get a lot of snow. We just get a few days of snow and then uh, after two days it's already uh, melting. So it's just a lot of uh, garbage that we get, a lot of uh, melted snow. And uh, yeah, it's really not, uh, really not nice. That's why I just love summer and spring. So I did splatter here as well, of course. Now I will go back to my project and don't talk about the weather anymore. <laughs> so here I have the two backgrounds ink blended. And you see it really did uh, work well. Even with the cheaper kind of inks, as you can see. So yeah, I don't know what I am explaining here. I am using my hands a lot, I see. <laughs> So I do think I'm going to start now with the stamping in the background. Oh, first I'm going to do stenciling. Oh yeah, that's true. I also stenciled. So that uh, is something the girls will do this Friday as well. I did put a lot of techniques in, as you can see, uh, for them to try out. I'm really curious what they think about it. One of my friends uh, does do this and does make cards with ink blending and stenciling and stamping. So she, uh, I can't teach her a lot anymore. She does it for a few years now. But she was really looking forward to Friday and she was also really curious about what the other girls would think. Because um, our friend Misha is also really creative, but the other ones, they always say they are not creative, but we do a lot of more crafting. Because my friend Blotje and Misha, they do stippling, they do uh, baking, they do also 3D projects, they do... Well, what have we done? We have done such a lot of things. A cookie decorating we have done. Uh, uh, pouring with resin, see, uh, they, they do. So they also craft a lot and they are really handy. And the girls that say they are not really creative, well, they also made beautiful projects each and every time. So I think everyone is creative. You just need to be pointed out uh, what for possibilities you have with some of the products. A few weeks ago we had uh, an afternoon and we had a painting workshop. That was because our friend Misha uh, got married on Valentine's Day. So the week before we went to a, a painting workshop with uh, the group of uh, girlfriends. And even there every painting turned out so cute and so beautiful. So yeah, they say they are not creative, but they really are. Now I'm using two different kinds of uh, shades of green, the darker ones, to do the stenciling on this background piece. And later on I am cutting it out. Eh? So this is not the full size of the card front that I'm going to use. I like to make the papers a little bit bigger so I can cut out two card fronts for example. Or I can just choose the most beautiful pieces that I think I did on the background and cut there out. Here you can see the pink one with the purples. I did that off camera. Also some stenciling with different stencils. I have a lot of uh, stencils accumulated so through the years. So I had a lot of to choose uh, from. On the right one, the Houndstooth, I don't have uh, for a long time. And it's currently my favorite stencil to use. I really like that pattern. And now I get in with uh, some background stamps to do some background stamping on both of them. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to do on camera. Maybe I do both of them. We will see. <laughs> and again, I used, uh, I do think I used, I'm using the same inks that I used for the, nah, not all of them. Some of them are the same inks that I use with the splattering and some of them I don't. So yeah. And this is my favorite, favorite background stamp that I have. It's, uh, I think, one I bought at AliExpress. I'm not sure anymore, but I love, love, love this. It's script, but it has some extra things. A little bit of ledger, beautiful uh, swirls around the words. I just, just love it. So gorgeous. So let's see how it turned out. Yeah. 
really cute so cute and it just is yeah i don't do it uh, with uh, a hard hand i did it with a light hand so it fades into the background that's the meaning of a background stamping of course <laughs> But I was not happy with the result. I think I am going to stamp a little bit extra. So that the paper is covered more with the stamping. Yeah. Really like this stamp. So cute. Use it on a lot of my junk journals as well. Yeah. I do think I was uh, happy with this result. Yeah. I'm putting it away. So yeah. And I am coming in with another stamp. An Argyle stamp. Really old one, maybe you recognize it. It's from Prima Marketing. Back in the days, they uh, always, uh, with each collection, they brought out a few of those square background stamps that you can use on your projects. And this is one that is well used by me. I really like this one. It's a generic pattern that you can use on almost every project, I think. It works on everything. And I do love that color purple I'm using there as well. Beautiful color purple. Yeah, I'm really happy that I bought those tints with those inks. They really uh, surprised me uh, good. I didn't expect such a nice result with them because of the low price point. Oh, and I am going to do the other one on camera as well. I did pull out some of the darker green inks from the tin. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite background stamp sets as well. They are really small uh, dots and I really like the bigger ones as well that you uh, would see on the, on the plastic I just showed with the stamps. This gives beautiful little accents, so cute. Now what do you think about uh, my backdrop for my crafting? I uh, am currently using uh, this wood pattern and it's uh, wallpaper. I bought a big roll of wallpaper at our action store and I'm cutting off uh, every time I'm doing a video or I am doing a, a tutorial because you don't get the glare of the glass mat that I'm normally working on. I don't like that in videos. It really distracts me from uh, watching what everyone is doing when they use the glass mat and the light hits it. So that's why I use the wood grain wallpapers uh, at the moment. I think I am ready now with the stamping. Yeah, I probably am. It doesn't need to be too full, of course. It's a background and I am going to use stamping or die cutting on top later on to make the cards. So. I do think I am going to put this away now. Oh no, I am going to use a different stamp. Oh yeah, it's uh, quite a new stamp. I got it as a gift with an order I did at Duading Dutch Craft Store. And they put in this uh, beautiful stamp and I was really happy with it. I thought it would be perfect for uh, mixed media work, for masculine cards or uh, projects. Because it's also some kind of a script, I think, with numbers in it. Yeah, do you see? I really love it. So cute. Really happy with it. Oh, it's only numbers. Yeah. Small numbers and a few big numbers in circles. Yeah. But beautiful background uh, stamp again. Yeah. Really was happy with this gift. It was, I think, the first time that I ordered at that store. So, uh, yeah. It surprised me. Now, and now I'm finally done. If I start making the backgrounds and I'm starting blending and inking and stenciling, it's always hard for me to stop. I add more and more, but more is not always uh, better. <laughs> Sometimes less is better. So here I'm showing both of the results. I love them both, but I do think I prefer the, the pink one the most. Now I'm showing you the other pads that I bought at AVEC. Pigment ink pads. I saw it on a video from a Dutch YouTuber and she stamped sentiments with it. And I was really surprised about how that looked. So I did that as well. And I'm showing you the results here. 
I must be honest, I did do this with um, my stamping tool. So I didn't do it on a block so that I could only stamp it once. I did stamp it twice with my stamping tool. But if I'm honest, I need to do that with my um, more expensive uh, pigment inks also. So I also need to stamp twice to get a beautiful, clear uh, sentiment stamp. So yeah, because this one I did with the VersaFine. But I also needed to do it two times with the stamping tool. So I thought the results with uh, cheaper inks were really well. Here I'm showing the, uh, 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 together so you could see the difference. But I think they stamp really well, uh, although they were really cheap. So yeah, also really happy to bought those. And here I'm showing you the first end result of the card that I have as an example. So I did some die cutting to cut out the sentiment. On top I used some old stamps from our journey that I really love. I love the, the drops, the raindrops and the, the flower. I don't know how it's called in English. We call it a distal. I did add some highlights with a white marker. And I added some white nouveau drops as you can see. And uh, the sentiment says the world is better with you. And that is stamped with the inks I just showed uh, with my stamping tool. So I really loved how this turned out. I did put it on a black uh, card base. And I added some uh, lines with a black marker as well, also around the sentiment. And I do think this is a quite an easy card to recreate for the girls that are doing this for the first time uh, the upcoming Friday. So yeah. And on the other cards I did some more die cutting I believe. And also a sentiment of course. And it's a sentiment set, a stamp set for Marianne Design, Dutch brand, all in Dutch. But it has sentiments that are related to friendship. So that's why I uh, used it. This uh, sentiment says, I'm happy with a friend like you. So, And I did use uh, another stamp you see in the background, an old swirl stamp. I do think from Crafter's Companion that I did uh, with black ink. And I die cutted out some easy butterflies with my die cutting machine. The bigger one, it's an old Spellbinders die, I also embossed with an embossing st stencil, embossing folder. So a lot of techniques that they can use. I did some paint splattering with uh, Posca markers and some yellow Nouveau drops. And now they can choose this Friday what they will do if they want to die cut or they want to stamp more. I thought they came out cute, uh, both of them. And I can't wait if they uh, would love it. With these cards, I also want to participate in Set Morning Makes uh, with Jill Norwood. Check her out. I will put the link in the description box uh, for some beautiful inspiration and for everyone that is joining because there are a lot of people joining nowadays with uh, Set Morning Makes as well on Instagram as on YouTube. And yeah, oh, I still also showing you the stamp set again I see the Dutch one so it's all in Dutch so you cannot read it if you're not from here but uh, really versatile stamp sets again uh, go check out Jill's channel she's a really sweet lady she makes beautiful cars is in a lot of design teams but she especially is really sweet to everyone and really thoughtful and uh, that's why I also uh, I am trying to do Saturday morning makes a, a few times uh, Every year. I'm not going to manage to do it every week, but I am doing it a few times every year and I want to put these cards in as well. So I will put them on my social with the hashtag set morning makes. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and that you uh, have picked up some of the techniques, although they are really basic. And uh, yeah, you can recreate them if you want while watching this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you will be back for my next one. Bye for now.